What's up everyone, Willy Apple here, and today we're going to be seeing if Apple Intelligence will be detected by an AI content detector. So I have a essay that I've written myself right here on October 20th, 2023 for school, and this is an essay about the Mineral Springs inside of Yellowstone National Park. So I'm just going to paste it in right here, and we're going to press Run Scan, and we're going to see if this is made by AI. So there's a 4% chance that this is AI generated. If I was a teacher, I would not work about that and this is 96% human written and this is with the basic scan I could do a deep scan however that's gonna use a ton of credits inside of my account now let's paste in the essay again and this time we're gonna go into our writing tools and we're gonna be using the proofread function so basically what the proofread function does is that it basically just changes up the text a little bit looks for grammatical issues and make sure everything is good so this is the proofread and essay. So we have the same amount of characters it looks like. Now let's run a scan and let's see. All right, so this went down from four to 7% AI with 93% human written and 1% mixed. So basically what this means is that an AI and a human is both writing. So if I was a teacher, I would not worry about this score because this is 93% human written. If it got to like 30% or maybe 50% or more, then I would get worried about that. Now let's go to the juicy stuff. So we're going to paste in the essay again, and we're gonna go back into our writing tools, and we're gonna do the rewrite function. So basically what this does is that it rewrites it to makes it a whole lot better. So this is basically an AI writing this essay. So this one will take a little bit, and while it's taking a little bit, I've been testing Apple Intelligence for about a week now, and I gotta say, it's really good. So let's press replace. The writing tools definitely has to be my favorite feature because I no longer need to use ChatGPT or anything like that in order to make sure my essay sounds professional, which we'll get into in a second. However, I do not really use it for essays because that is kind of stupid. I mostly use it for feedback consistent. For example, this was written by ChatGPT right here. All right, so now that we have our rewritten essay, let's go do a run scan and this should update a little bit. All right, so we've got 11% mixed and 89% AI. So basically, I would be really worried about this if I was a teacher. I would say this is definitely an AI written essay. And I could also see right here, this is AI language. I use AI for a lot of things, and I could say right now this is definitely AI written. So don't use the rewrite function for your essays. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back into our writing tools. And we're going to making our text a little bit friendly. So basically, this will make our text a lot better for people. And it's just going to make it sound a lot nicer. However, this will still rewrite the essay. So I still have the original essay pasted into here. All right, so let's place it. And let's see Mineral Springs, also known as... Yes, from this first point right here, I can tell this is definitely AI. All right, so now let's go down here and press the run scan function. And this is 100% probability generated AI. See, I could tell right off the bat that this was AI by this first part, and sentences that are likely written by AI are highlighted, and saying all of them are, are AI generated. So don't use the make friendly function at all. So far, you should only be using the proofread function, but we'll still check and see if all the other AI writing tools get seen. Now let's make it sound professional. If friendly was detected by AI by 100%, I'm gonna say professional is also 100% because I'm pretty sure making it sound professional is a lot worse. All right, so now let's press replace right here. And so for some reason, the AI decided to add these asterisks. So we're just gonna keep those in here. We'll see if it affects the score or not. And then let's press on run scan and once again as expected it is 100% AI written it's highly confident that it is AI even though the Apple writing tools are my favorite thing about Apple intelligence so far it's not really good at bypassing it so I will definitely be using the proofread function I feel safe using the proofread function because that, that is basically just grammarly just going in and seeing if it is good or not all right so now let's make it concise so basically what the concise function does is pay attention to the letter count right here so we got 2640 characters this is basically just going to compress it and making it straight to the point making sure you don't need to hear yapping so we'll keep everything inside the essay we'll just find out how to compress it so basically kind of like compressing a file on your system all right so now let's press replace and take a look at the letter count it's 1136 so now let's press run scan and uh looks like it's done and now 
we got another 100% AI generated essay. So now we're going to continue using all of the writing tools in here. And we're going to be using the summary function. So this is just going to summarize it. It's not like concise where it keeps all the characters. You're going to see it's a lot less characters. So this should definitely be AI generated. And of course, it's 100% AI generated. Apple Intelligence is not looking good for using it in school, besides the proofread function once again. All right, so let's do the key points. I'm curious to see what this does, even though it's just going to do bullet points. Now let's scroll down and press run scan. And this is 100% AI written. All right, so now let's go back into here, go into the writing tools, and we're going to do a list. So this is just going to put the essays with bullet points. Now I don't think this is going to be as high as an AI score as everything else because all it does is it takes the essay and puts it in bullet points. This I can see being really useful for note taking inside of school if I decide to do typing notes, which I'm not sure if I will quite yet, so let's do this. So it's 76 AI generated, probably have to change up some of the words to make sense. And human, it is 24%. So I'm saying for note taking, this is probably a good use for it in school. Let's do the table, I'm not, I haven't really used the table function that much, but okay, so yeah, this is definitely not going to do that much for an AI content detector, but we'll still run it anyway. All right, so it looks like we cannot use it that much. It has had 250 characters or more. So that is the conclusion here. So I would say if you want to use Apple Intelligence for school, so for essays, I would use the proof read function and just to, for studying your notes or something or just want to have like a little summary of your notes i would use the summary function that could be incredibly useful for note taking and same with the key points or lists for note taking as well if you prefer lists but you have to like type your notes or copy and paste your teacher's notes if you have access to that you could take a look at the teacher's summaries or lists i just say this is the best way to use Apple Intelligence. Don't use Apple Intelligence in school, except for the proofread function for writing an essay. But yeah, thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, share it with your friends. Download my apps down in the description down below. And if you're interested in my studying app, Willy Study, you can take a look at that down there. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!